My name is Nessa O'Mahony. I am a poet from Dublin and I'm delighted to be here tonight in Creole to read my poems. And are you long at the poetry? About 20 years now. I uh, started in 1994 on my 30th birthday and um, have been keeping it going pretty much ever since then. And did you have a tendency towards it when you were a child? Did you ever write a poem when you were young? I wrote a poem that ended up in the school magazine, um, but I don't think I really thought that living people wrote poems because the poems we, the poets that we read about in school were all kind of long dead. Long, long. Um, so it never occurred to me that it was something that I might be able to have a go at. Um, and it took me a while to work that one out. And what makes a poet? Well, I think preparedness to keep going and not necessarily give up when people are telling you maybe you should. So there's certain stubbornness. Uh, certainly, um, it's it's a realization that it's the best way of expressing what you understand about your world. Uh, that you know, prose doesn't really uh, cut it because there's something about the the focus of a poem that just allows you to get to the the nub of it. Um, and if, if you have a short attention span, as I do, it's also handy because poems can be quite short. And how do you select your topics? I'm very interested in family history, um, and I had some very interesting uh, family members. Uh, I've been writing a lot about my grandfather, who was a, a Mayo man who um, fought in World War One in the Irish War of Independence and the Civil War, um, and there's some great stories about him that my mother has sort of handed out to me. So I'm very interested in documentary sources for for poetry and, and, and family history as a way of, of keeping stories alive, I suppose. And where do you come from yourself? I'm in Dublin. I'm born in Dublin, proud to be a Dubliner, but very proud of the kind of the, the Cork, Galway and Mayo links that I have as well. You had a Banlasloe connection? Banlasloe connection. My grandfather actually uh, worked in Banlasloe for much of his adult life. My mother grew up there, uh, nine brothers and sisters grew up in Banlasloe, so it's, it's very much part of the kind of the ancestral homeland as well. And your re most recent selection of poems is about it's her father's daughter, and it's it's about two father-daughter relationships. My mother's relationship with her father, so it gives me a chance to write about him, my grandfather, but also my own father, Donald, who died in 2010, and it's poems about my relationship with him. Really. So you've come to the Creel. I've come to the Creel. I heard it was the the heart of poetry, and I wanted to find out for myself. How did you find out about the Creed as a matter of fact? Through the good offices of uh, James O'Darty, whose sister Angela is a very good old friend of mine. Um, she came to my launch in Dublin and said, you should go down to Mayo. James is doing great stuff down there. So I ended up down here. And have you ever been in Westport before? I have been in Westport a few times, not, not often enough. Mm. And I don't think I've actually ever stayed overnight here, so this will be a first. So you'll have to write a, a poem about Westport? I will do my best.